Go take a look. Place in a review for altercation. So that's what Doncic took exception to after the whistle. Morris grabbing him. And then they start having some words. Just some shoves, nothing really. Officials did a good job getting in the middle. There's got to be a technical, though. By who? Morris. I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about the shove of Porzingis after that. I don't want anybody to toss. It's not serious, but you want to control this game. But sometimes they will give it because Porzingis became the third man in. Then they have some smiles. So then you're saying at least a double technical, Mike. Is that what I understand you saying? I think that's more likely what we'll see. This guy should be a politician. They shouldn't, on reviews, they should go straight to Mike. But it's so good to see, I mean, the rules being applied where the players use wisdom. The guys on the bench, nobody ran on the court. It can truly cost you, not just monetarily, but playoff game. Here's Kane Fitzgerald. Double technical fouls, Porzingis and Morris. That's Porzingis' second. He's been ejected. Wow. Forgot that he got one, remember, because he punched that air. So Porzingis has been out of the game. That's an automatic ejection. You know, and he had two weak technical fouls. Yep. I, I, I hate ejections in the in the playoffs like that. I just think it's the second one automatic. And again, the, the reason he got it is because the situation was between Doncic and Morris, and he came in as a third party, and that's why he was part of it, and then Morris with the shove. See, it used to be that officiating had more license for common sense and to me that is nothing yeah. that is nothing you do you should you're not ejected for Jalen Rose we've been here since one o'clock okay and we are still rolling mm -hmm. right now the Mavericks they are up four they were down by as many as 16 and we'll get to that but we want to get you caught up first right Jalen give them absolutely what they want walk through what they the need. highlights let's go the Jazz taking on the Nuggets. Some great performances here. Donovan Mitchell is so very dynamic with the basketball in his hands. He stands six foot one. He have a six foot ten wingspan. Yes. The guy plays much bigger than he is. He was fantastic tonight with 57 points. That guy Murray made big shots at fourth quarter in OT. He had 36 points and nine assists and the win. Give me Nets and Raptors highlights. Fred Van Vliet and Kyle Lowry, when people start talking about the best backcourts in the league, they should be in the conversation. They lock down defensively, they make timely threes, and they continue to lead the defending world champion Toronto Raptors. Don't let them forget, Van Fleet hit eight threes, and this one had 30 points. Celtics and 76ers. Well, right now we're seeing the best wing duo in the NBA, mm -hmm. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, but this is the second best, everyone. That's Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. They're terrific for the Boston Celtics and will be so for a very long time. Combined for 59 points in their 22 and 23. The future that looks bright for crazy. the Celtics. Oh, it looks bright for the Don Luca and the Mavericks, too. You can't reach Pat Bev. Gets you trending for the wrong reasons. Eight points, three fouls. Have a triple double in their playoff debut, but he does have seven turnovers as well. You want to give Clippers credit. They did a really good job of making them play in the crowd in the first half, forcing a couple of turnovers. Maybe he was a little bit nervous playing in this first playoff game, and rightfully so. You see him trying to split the pick and roll action. They get the deflection. Right here, he just slips, and then he gets injured, leaves the game for a couple of minutes. But this is what an all-NBA performer does, Maria. Mm -hmm. He comes back, he sees Reggie Jackson on him. All of a sudden, he starts to feel good for three. The Dallas Mavs work themselves back in the game by not Knocking down three Honestly, shots. I think Luka just had to run back to the locker room, grab his bag, and jump in it because that's exactly <laughs> what happened. <laughs> oh, he in his duffy. Half. Yeah, that's all. Last time that we checked, the Clippers were still <laughs> in it, and they were Jalen and I's pick to make it to the finals. So we'll see what they have in the second half. Countdown still got the best jukebox in the game. Ain't Period. that right, Amina Hussein? Dot nothing.